What is going on guys? So it's been about a week since I got the Galaxy Buds and as I promised, I wanna give you an update of the week later, my experience, what I think of them. And I'm gonna to try to answer all the questions that you guys left in the last video when I did the unboxing. Let's go check them out. Welcome back to your channel. And if you're new, consider subscribing. My name is Mario. We're always making videos on the Galaxy Note phones, Galaxy Buds, and now the Galaxy Watch as well. I wanna start this video by talking about the compatibility of the earbuds with different devices. I think that was the most common question a lot of people were asking about if it was compatible with other devices and, and just to keep it short and simple, yes, it's pretty much going to be compatible with any Android phone as long as you have Android 5.0 or above, which pretty much everybody should, should have by now. The bottom line is they are Bluetooth earphones and you can pretty much connect them with any Bluetooth device. I was able to connect them to Windows 10, but a couple of things that I noticed is that on my computer I have Bluetooth 4.2 and the sound quality was good. It was not as good as the sound quality that I'm getting out of the Galaxy S10 Plus, which it has the Bluetooth 5.0. There was a little bit of delay when it comes to video and the sound connecting them directly to the computer. Overall, wasn't the greatest sound quality, but it wasn't bad at all. The same, I was able to connect them to other Samsung phones without having the app. You were able to connect them. I don't recommend you do that because it kind of kills the whole experience of just having that ecosystem where you can take them out of the charging case and they get connected automatically. If you start connecting them, for example, to the computer, I noticed that you're gonna have issues like your phone and the computer, they're gonna start fighting over the connection and it just creates a mess. To me, it was just not worth the hassle. And talking about that compatibility, using them with the Galaxy Watch Active, again, they work really well. Uh, once you get them connected through the app, you can control both of them through the app. And even if you want to leave your, your phone at home, for example, I've taken them to the gym, I can I downloaded my music into the watch and basically was able to connect them right away with no issues. Now moving into the battery life. Now, I haven't really done an intensive test when it comes to the battery life, but I can tell you, I think I've been charging the, the case probably every other day. I basically been using them all day. I use them at work. I use them in the office. I use them at home. I use them when I go to the gym. And on average, I think I'm putting about four to five hours of use. And of course you get, you're supposed to get about six hours. And on top of that, you get another seven hours that you get on the charging case. In general, they can get me through a whole day. As I mentioned, I mean, pretty much get me through a day and a half before having to recharge the case. Now, when I took them to the gym where I connect them to the Galaxy Watch Active, I noticed that for about an hour that I used them, I did lose about 10% of the charge, which is not bad at all. When it came to tracking the battery on the buds themselves, I mean, I had no issues. Pretty much every time I went into the phone, opened the app, it would tell me how good the battery was, where was I at, so no issues there. And pretty much, like I said, every time I just put them back in the case, uh, they charge it pretty quick. I didn't really do a test of how fast they charge. I didn't have any issues where I put them in the, in the charging case. I went back to them and, and they weren't charged. What I did notice is that uh, both the buds do not discharge or they don't go through the battery at the same time. So basically sometimes I noticed that one bed will have pretty much 80% and the other one will have like a 70, 75%. I'm still not sure why is that. Is it because maybe one of them is the one that's sending all the commands and connecting to the phone, but I definitely need to do more research. But if you guys have any knowledge on that, let us know in the comment section below. That when you take them off, they pretty much go on standby mode. They turn off by themselves. You don't have to worry about leaving them on, something that happens to me all the time with other earbuds or headphones. When it comes to music, I think they're gonna sound pretty good. I personally like the sound quality. You don't get a lot of bass, but the bass is pretty good. Now, if you do increase the audio all the way to 100%, it starts getting distorted a little bit, but overall 80, 90% sound level, it will sound pretty good. Using them for phone conversations, that was a different story. I'm just gonna say they're not the best, but they're not the worst. You can still have a conversation. If you speak a little bit too fast, the sound may start getting distorted a little bit and the other person may have a hard time understanding, but overall for short conversations just in general i think they're pretty good you're gonna get different experience i know with bluetooth 5.0 i pretty much can walk around the house they don't get disconnected they sound really well if i test them out with the other phones like the note 4 where i had the 4.0 quality wasn't as great and i couldn't really walk away from the phone too far like for example i think it was about 10 feet and they will start getting disconnected when it comes to ambient sound, I did test them out. I went out for a walk and that, I think that's a must if you're gonna have this type of earbuds and you're gonna be listening to music. Uh, having the ambient sound, it does allow you to, to stay aware of your surroundings. And, and it just it make me feel walk more secure with confidence that I don't have to worry about someone sneaking up on me behind or pretty much getting hit by a car or, or just get surprised or scared by someone going in, in a bike. Now, when it comes to watching YouTube videos, uh, there's no delay between the audio and the video. I, oh, I personally didn't experience one. 
I did notice that some of the games, or I tested it out with PUBG, and I did notice a significant delay on the audio and the video. But definitely, I probably need to do more tests, and I don't know if they probably need to do an update on the on the game itself to help uh, fix the audio. But that's something that I'm gonna keep an eye on. When it comes to usability, and I think that was the main purpose of these earphones. If you if you are thinking about getting them. It's not going to be for the sound quality, it's not going to be for the looks, it's not going to be for the brand, it's going to be for the experience that you're going to get. And what I mean by experience, experience meaning that if you do have like a Samsung phone, if you have your Galaxy Watch, you're going to get that ecosystem or just even an Android phone. If you want to have that experience where you can have this with you anywhere and when you don't use them, you put them back in the charging case, they get disconnected. Or even if you take them off your ears, they're going to pretty much turn off or go on standby mode so they're not using the battery. And when you're ready to get back on it and start using them, you pretty much pop them out of the case and they automatically connect to your phone and they just start playing music if that's the last thing you were doing. It's pretty much using an audio jack or using the cable where you just plug them in and you start listening to music. And there's no hassle where you have to connect them or where they get disconnected or the battery dies very often. I think that's what you're gonna get out of these earbuds. And for $130, I think it's worth it because I don't know if there's another earbuds that will do or will give you the experience that you're getting out of them. When it comes to comfort, I did mention that on the unboxing, I usually can't wear any type of earbuds. Uh, I personally don't have, my ears are a little bit different. So with this, I was able to keep them on. Even on the gym, I tried them out on the treadmill. I was sweating, I tried them out at the gym. I was at the gym for a whole hour and none of them came off or were even close to coming off. So overall, for me, they were pretty comfortable and I didn't even have to use the ear tips. I mean, for me, my ears don't actually allow the ear tips to go in. So just by the end, the plastic rubber end tips, that's what allow them to stay in. And I think they, they're pretty balanced. They're not heavy at all. So they do stay on the on your ears. But just keep it in mind, it may not be for everybody. Now the touch pads were pretty responsive. I was even, even able to use them when I was running on the treadmill. Uh, pretty much tap once, it passes the music. Tap twice, it will go to the next song. So when it comes to just usability, I think it's pretty user friendly. I mean, you, you have to get used to them the way you tap or where you tap and just learn the commands. Once you do that, I think you're gonna be pretty satisfied. The Galaxy Wearable apps is gonna make it very user friendly. It's very easy to switch between your Galaxy Watch and your earbuds. So it does allow you to have that ecosystem where you can basically control everything. In the app itself, you're gonna be able to get more information. Equalizer is pretty good. You basically got a couple of options where you can change up the type of uh, how you want the music to sound. You can control the notifications. That Again, the touchpad, you can control what you want it to do. And if it's really bothering you, where every time you, you trying to put them on, take them off, it's uh, activating the, the commands. You can actually turn that off so it doesn't bother you. Ambient sound is gonna work basically with Android devices. If you have an iOS device, ambient sound will not work. If you have an Android, Android device and you do install the app, you're gonna be able to control the ambient sound. Now with the app again, you're gonna be able to find the earbuds if you happen to misplace them. Uh, one thing I did notice is that I drop them a few times and, and they hold pretty good. Like they don't feel like they break easily. The charging case, it's pretty nice. As I mentioned, I do like the two-tone colors, uh, magnetics that, that it has that do keep them in there. They don't fall off easily. That's a big plus. Overall, it's a good product that works and I think it does accomplish what it meant to do. Give you that user experience with the whole ecosystem where you can have your Galaxy Watch, have your phone, have your earbuds and stay connected all the time and be able to go from one and the other without having to hassle or worry about getting disconnected or having to get them reconnected again. I personally don't have much complaints about them. I mean, I think they're worth it, $130, but uh, that, those were my thoughts. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, what do you want me to cover? Anything else that you want me to talk about the earbuds? I would love to answer all those, all those questions. And remember, I read every comment. I love to have that engagement. Consider subscribing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.